Hey guys, you can borrow Nerdit here. Alright, and here I am with another Obscure 2000s Disney movie review. And next up, this is going to be a review for The Wild. So, you know, I'm not too sure how many of you have actually seen this movie. My guess is not a lot of you really have or even have even heard of this movie. Like, this also could extend his Disney summer review for this movie. How just very few people really know of this movie because... Yeah, this film just, it really wasn't a hit with critics, audiences, or even financially. So yeah, so, this film really just, like, like, really just, like, didn't really leave any impact, and it just really wasn't really a big success, so it really just, really, like, just seemed to really disappear real fast, and just, you know, was, like, very quickly forgotten about among many people. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I did actually see this movie in the theater. Yeah, I was like one of the few people that actually did see this movie in the theater. So yeah, so I was like aware of this movie prior to when he reviewed it. I mean, I think maybe like like when I did see it, like maybe like like it wasn't on my mind at first, but then when I saw his review, it really like jolted the, my memory of it. Like I remembered the movie. Yeah, and yeah, and me personally, how I really feel about the movie. Um, is it really as bad as people say? Well, I don't know if I can really go as far to really say it's really, like, as bad as people say. I mean, does it really deserve, like, all the, like, just the, um, well, yeah, just how, like, unsuccessful it really was. Does it, does it really, like, re like, deserve to really get, like, negativity on it? Well, I really don't think so, because... Yeah, I remember when I saw this movie in the theater, I there was actually quite a bit of the movie that I did enjoy. I mean, yeah, I mean, there are, like, flaws. Like, it is far from perfect. Like, yeah, flaws are definitely, like, like throughout the movie. Like, like it does get annoying at times, but at the same time, like, there is some funny stuff in the movie. So, I wouldn't really say it's really as bad as much as it is inconsistent. So, yeah, so, I really just feel that, like, it's more of an inconsistent movie than it is a bad one. So, yeah. So, this movie was released in 2006, and of course, like, this is a uh, CG animated movie. And this was kind of, like, during the time where, like, Disney was starting to, like, um, get more into the CG department with their animated films. Yeah, like... I remember, like, I said in my review for Home on the Range how, like, at that time, like, just Disney's, uh, like, hand-drawn animated films just really were not really big successes. Like, even, like, the ones that I've already talked about in these reviews, like, ones like, uh, Treasure Planet and, um, it, and, uh, like, films like, uh, yeah, films like, uh, Treasure Planet, Atlantis, Home on the Range, like, those films just, yeah, they really weren't, like, making, like, a whole lot of money, so, yeah, th so, yeah, due to that, and just, like, how much, like, hand-drawn animation really was, like, dying out at the time, this is when, like, Disney was really starting to, like, get into the CG animated department for their animate films, like, the previous year before this film was released, they, of course, did have Chicken Little, and then they had this film the following year. Yeah, and of course Chicken Little wasn't uh, really very successful, and yeah, this film was really like in the same aim, um, boat. Like, this one just really wasn't a big success either, so yeah, so I really think that, it, like, it really took time for Disney to really, like, settle into the groove before they were able to, like, make, make like, uh, good films in the CG animated department, at least, like, like, ones that were at least able to succeed. Eat well, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, and I've always kind of, like, uh, found this film kind of funny in a sense because I've always kind of, like, looked at this film as, like, Disney really, like, getting revenge on DreamWorks because, of course, like, uh, DreamWorks has, like, made, like, like uh, uh, quite a few movies that really are, like, considered, like, rip-offs of Disney films. Like, they had, like, Disney made small, no, not Disney, DreamWorks made a Small Soldiers, which a lot of people would, like, say was a rip-off of Toy Story. There was, of course... Ants, which, yeah, of course, like, there's that controversy with Ant and a Bug's Life. Like, technically, Ant was, uh, is released first, but, yeah, well, Bug's Life was in development first and stuff, and, yeah, there's that whole Katzenberg uh, controversy and stuff. Yeah, so, Ants is still, like, considered, like, a ripoff of a Bug's Life, even though, like, Ants technically came out first. And then there was also Shark Tale, which was, like, considered a ripoff of Finding Nemo. 
Yeah, and of course, like, the, the previous year before this, uh, DreamWorks had released Madagascar, and I've always kind of, like, looked at this film as kind of, like, Disney finally, like, trying to get revenge on DreamWorks and giving them adults their own medicine by ripping them off with this movie. Because, yeah, of course, like, this movie, it is, like, uh, pretty similar in setup to Madagascar with, like, like, it is, like, as the film starts, it's shown like it is in the Central Park Zoo, like Madagascar. The main character is a lion, like, in Madagascar, and he ha just has, like, a, is among, like, a group of animals, like, in Madagascar. So, yeah, so it does have, like, a, a similar setup up to Madagascar like that, so... Yeah, so I've always just, like, kind of, like, seen this movie as Disney finally getting, trying to get revenge on DreamWorks with just, like, how much, like, DreamWorks has, had been, like, ripping their films off. So, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, of course, like, this film really, like, wasn't even, like, anywhere as successful as Madagascar. Yeah. And I get the feeling that probably, like, the re one of the reasons that this film just really wasn't wasn't really a big hit and why, like, just a lot of people really didn't see it was probably because that's kind of like what a lot of people really did uh, 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 see about the film. Like, just like from when they, like, saw the trailers and just when they see the poster, like, they probably, like, uh, caught on that, like, this was, like, Disney's answer to Madagascar. And I, and I just really feel like that's not really, like, what people really wanted to see. They really didn't want to see Disney try to give DreamWorks a dose of their own medicine. Yeah, and so that's probably, like, why it, uh, like, the film really did, um, um, like, turn out the way that it did, where, like, it just, like, really wasn't a big, big hit at all, and why it just, like, really did, it, like, fall into obscurity, and was almost immediately forgotten about. So, yeah, so, I guess that is, like, one reason why the film really did turn out the way that it did. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, so if you're looking at it from that perspective, then, yeah, you probably really won't really, like, have that much interest in seeing this movie. But at the same time, I mean, like I said, like, just, like, the film, it does get annoying at times, but at other times, like, it does actually, like, have some good jokes in it. Like, I did kind of, like, find the gaggle, like, when, like, like, when uh, the lion cub, like, tries to roar and it's just a cat's meow, I did think that was kind of funny. And yeah, and there are, like, some other jokes throughout the movie that actually are pretty clever and do seem kind of funny. Like, Nostalgia Critic talked about it in his uh, Disney Summer Review, so I'm not really going to, like, repeat what he said. So if you want to, like, kind of, like, just, like, like, know what some of the other funny jokes are, you can just go watch his review for the movie. Yeah. But yeah, like I said, the film isn't really, like, like bad, I don't think, but it just seems very inconsistent, like, like, it just seems like a very mixed bag, because some stuff is funny, some stuff is annoying, and it's really just all over the place with the film, so, yeah, so I guess, like, it's, you can, I can kind of, like, understand, like, why the film just really didn't really leave any impact, because there's nothing about it that, that, like, particularly does, like, stand out, out, and plus, yeah, a lot of people will probably just, like, see it as just, like, a ripoff of Madagascar, and <laughs> just, yeah, and just, they don't want to see Disney really just, like, pulling the same stunt that DreamWorks has pulled before, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, I guess I can kind of see, like, why people really just, like, like, didn't really see this film, and why the film just really didn't leave a very big impact, but, yeah, it's not really like this film really, like, has nothing to enjoy. Like, yeah, when it has a good joke, like, it can, like, really give a good joke. And, yeah, and even, like, the characters overall, like, they really are not that bad. Like, some of them can be kind of annoying, but at the same time, like, there's no, no a character that really is, like, absolutely bad. Like, the characters are at least likable in the film. Like, you do have, like, the main lion lying in the film, and you do have his friends in the film. Like, it has, um... Um, the squirrel, the giraffe, uh, an anaconda, and a koala, and they all really do set out to find the cub after, like, he accidentally gets sent away from, um, the city, yeah, and they really, and, yeah, and the father and his friends do go out, out to track him down and find him and save him and all that, and they do come across, like, villains and all that stuff. So, yeah, so... So, yeah, so the story is kind of, like, pretty typical. Like, it just has the, the kidnapping story. Well, yeah, the story where, like, like somebody gets separated and, like, the rest of the, of the main characters just go out to try to find them. So, it is a story that kind of, like, has been done before. But, yeah, like I said, just, it can have a good joke. Oh, like, when <laughs> when the time is right. And, yeah, and just, yeah. And overall, like, I, I wasn't really, like, all that bored really watching it. Like, the film really isn't, 
isn't really that boring. Like, it is, like, kind of intriguing, but at the same time, just, there's nothing about it that, in particular, that really just stand out. So, yeah. yeah. So, it's not really, like, anything, like, like, that really does make the film an absolute must-see. But it's also, like, not the worst Disney project at all. Like, there has definitely been, like, worse Disney projects than this. So, so yeah, so I'm not really sure whether or not I would really um, recommend this film amongst amongst people, like, because it can get annoying, and plus, yeah, as I've been saying, just, yeah, yeah, if, a lot of people are probably gonna look at this as just, like, a ripoff of Madagascar, so, yeah, so I know that there is probably gonna be, like, stuff like that that really is gonna, like, draw people away from uh, wanting to see it, but at the same time, like, if you can, if you are really, like, uh, want to see, like, this like this stuff like if you do like like some of the jokes that this movie really does have if you can really like put up with the annoyance and some jokes that are kind of lame in the movie like if you can put up with that just to get to like a good joke then yeah you might get some enjoyment out of the film so yeah so like i said it's not really the worst disney film film and it does like have like some enjoyment to it but yeah i can really like still see like why the film really didn't leave that big of an impact so yeah, so I guess I would probably like give this film probably around like um, uh, around a two point two five stars out of four. So yeah, it's not the worst Disney project, but yeah, I can still like, it, there's nothing about it that really does like stand out in particular. All right, so yeah, so I guess I'll just I'll start talking about the movie. So as the movie starts off, as I said, it it's like it's in the Central Park Zoo, and it shows how like a. Uh, uh, Samson the Lion is, like, telling his son, Ryan, stories about, like, his adventures in, like, the wilds of Africa. Okay, yeah. And he's kind of, like, trying to, like, uh, train up, up Ryan to really, um, kind of, like, uh, uh, get, uh, follow in his footsteps and kind of, like, trying to train him to really, like, be ready to be, like, a true lion when he does grow up. Uh, and, like, even, like, he's trying to teach him how to roar, but, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, like, like, Brian is really unable to roar, and when he does, it's just, like, a cat meow. And it causes, like, it just, like, everybody to laugh at him for, like, being unable to roar. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. And in the film, like, uh, Samson is actually voiced by Kiefer Sutherland, and, yeah, and in the film, you also do have, like, a few other, like, uh, uh, big stars in the film like it has a uh, uh jim belushi william shatner uh patrick warburton in, is and provides a voice in the movie and it even like has a couple of uh, uh people who, that are like from nickelodeon like it it has a uh, jack DeSena uh providing a voice in the movie and yeah you may know like jack DeSena. he was like he was like from like the season seven to ten run of all that, and you know, and of course, like he pro he did like voiceover work in um, Avatar, yeah. And the film also uh, has a voice a talent from uh, Jason Harris, who yeah, you may know him like he was the host of Double Dare Two Thousand when that was on Nickelodeon. So yeah, so yeah, so it does kind of like have like uh, an interesting cast of as uh, providing voices in the movie, yeah. Yeah, and I told that, like, at night when the zoo closes, like, the animals are just, like, free to roam amongst the zoo, and it shows that, like, Samson, like, has friends like, uh, um, a squirrel named Benny, and there's also a, uh, a female giraffe named Bridget, who, like, Benny is, like, always, like, trying to uh, get her to go out with him, but she's not interested in him, and they also, like, have a dim-witted anaconda named Larry, and an unlucky koala named Nigel. Yeah. Yeah, and that night, as um the, as like uh, Samson and his uh, friends are like competing in like a game of a uh, turtle curling, which is like they're like sweeping turtles onto a target. Yeah, as a uh, Ryan was like very um uh, like upset and just like uh weeping up in a tree. He, as he's like with some of his friends, he accidentally ends up uh causing a stampede, which ends up like a uh, crashing um Samson's game. Yeah, and and then like as a Samson was really just like a um getting after Ryan for like always weeping and stuff and just like getting after him about like weeping because of his roar like it just got Samson being really upset and he just said that maybe he would 
be able to roar if he had a better father, basically. Well then, yeah, so then Ryan ended up storming off, and then he eventually ended up uh, wandering into a, um, in our model container, you know, but then, yeah, then it jolted him, like, uh, it ended up uh, getting, um, uh, shipped away in a truck while Ryan was in there, unbeknownst to who loaded it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, yeah, Ryan was just, like, calling to, um, his dad for help, and Samson just, like, saw, like, the, uh, Ryan, Ryan being shipped off. Yeah. And then, yeah, then, and yeah, then after, like, a, a legend being told from, um, Hamer, a pigeon, it was, like, the uh, Hamer was just talking about how, like, uh, like, all those, um, uh, intermodal containers, containers, or shipping containers, like, end up, uh, being, um, in just, uh, taken into the wild, and they never return, so then, yeah, then, uh, Samson then, uh, you know, decided to go after Ryan to save him, but then, yeah, then Benny and the others ended up uh, going along with Nigel, too, who, uh, when they hopped on a garbage disposal truck, yeah, yeah, then eventually, like, as they, like, uh, uh made it through Times Square, or as, like, uh, they were, like, uh, they, the garbage truck was, like, starting to compact, like, the garbage, they were able to, um, um, like, I uh, get the driver to, uh, bail from the truck and shutting off the truck. So, yeah, they were able to escape. But then, yeah, then they, like, entered, well, they ended up, like, coming across, like, a pack of rabid dogs. And then, yeah, then, like, uh, Samson, like, just, like, despite the fact that he seemed to be, like, this, like, just this really brave lion that was always, like, standing and fighting from the stories that he would, uh, tell Ryan, like, Samson just, like, wasn't fighting the dogs at all, and instead he just, like, uh, helped everybody, like, bail from the dogs through the sewer. Yeah. yeah. And then, eventually, then, they were able to, um, um, steal a tugboat the following morning. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, eventually, they were able to, um, um, find the location of the ship that Ryan was on, and then, yeah, and then eventually they ended up arriving in, in Africa, and then it showed there that, like, the animals on the boat were all just, um, um, evacuated by the carriers, and it showed there was also, like, a nearby volcano uh, preparing to erupt, yeah, and then after Samson then actually he saw Ryan wandering off in the jungle. Then, as Samson attempted to run after him, 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 like it was shown that, like, uh, then uh, Samson eventually ended up coming across a uh, hyrax. But it showed that, like, uh, Samson just like didn't eat the hyra hyrax, and it then was eventually revealed that Samson had never actually been in the wild before. Yeah. And so then, yeah, Benny and the others, like, at first just kind of, a, just, like, were, um, um, very, um, unhappy with, um, Samson. And they started to head back toward the ship, but then, and eventually, like, uh, showed that, um, Nigel ended up being abducted by a group of wildebeest that resided in the volcano. And, it, and then it showed that their leader, uh, Kazar, like, just was, um, uh, just looking at, um, Nigel as just, uh, a, a god, uh, to them, and just pronouncing the great hymn, due to an omen that he received, and it, like, he explained the story how, like, when, um, Kazer was young, like, it showed that, like, uh, he was about to be devoured by some lions, but then a toy koala fell from a plane, and it scared the lions away, and ended up saving him, so due to that, he looked at, um, Nigel as a god, uh, pronouncing him the great hymn, yeah, 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 and then eventually, um, he, uh, uh, yeah, Kazar just wanted the, to change up the food chain, because he would rather see prey become predators, and vice versa, and he wanted uh, to eat a lion, so then, uh, Bridget, is, so then, yeah, the, he basically, like, had just vultures, and yeah, all the other animals 
wolves in the wild basically try to hunt down lions, and it also showed that Bridget and Larry ended up being captured and held hostage. Uh, and eventually Ryan was discovered by a, some vultures, and yeah, they started to attack him from under orders from Kazar, but then after like uh, the branch broke that uh, Ryan was standing on, one of his uh, hind paws ended up like being um, trapped under the branch, and then after like a Samson like was just like shouting out how out, like Samson heard of the cries and ran off to save uh, Ryan and scared the um, vultures away. And as they reunited and together, then they ended up like being uh, chased by a herd of wildebeest. But rather than seeing a fight once again, Samson just uh, told the uh, Ryan to run, which shocked Ryan. And then when they eventually like were able to escape from the wildebeest, then Samson actually revealed the truth about his past to Ryan. And it was shown that like when Ryan was a cub, he was actually, well, when Samson was a cub, sorry, he was in j just in the circus. And it showed that like his father was like very uh, volatile towards him and was really just like not supportive of Samson like Samson is to Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. And it showed that Samson also was just unable to roar or like Ryan was and just like let out the cat meow. Yeah. Yeah. And due to that, um, yeah, Samson ended up being um, sent to the zoo, and yeah, just Samson's father just was like very disappointed and just like pretty much like shunned him away. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, then uh, Sa Samson then just like revealed that he had been lying about all the stories in, in the wild, and he, he was just been like like lying to avoid humiliation from the truth. Yeah. But then eventually, like, the wildebeest ended up finding um, Samson and Ryan, and then, like, like they then tried to knock the tree over, and then uh, uh, Ryan, like, uh, ended up uh, falling off, but Samson <laughs> hung on, and, and yeah, the um, wildebeest just knocked the tree over a cliff, and seemingly knocking, well, yeah, Samson was, like, knocked out cold, and Ryan believed that... Uh, Samson was dead, and then Ryan was taken to the volcano. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah, then, eventually, then, um, Benny was able to, like, after he found Samson, he really, like, just helped uh, him find the confidence of himself, even if he's not from the wild. And then, yeah, then, after they came across, like, two chameleons, they help, helped to lead Samson to the volcano, and then, yeah, and, yeah, Samson was able to uh, slip into the uh, wildebeest lair, and then, yeah, and then Nigel then was just, like, trying to stall the wildebeest from, he used to uh, stop them from uh, cooking uh, Ryan and, um, and uh, Bridget and Larry. Yeah. yeah. And then eventually then uh, Samson ended up um, arriving, and then he attempted to fight off Kazer, but, yeah, he was, like, very quickly just, like, beat eaten, but then, yeah, after then, like, Ryan just, like, saw his father in danger, then he then just, like, with, like, help from, um, uh, Bridget, Larry, and, um, uh, Nigel, then, uh, Ryan then just, uh, launched himself at Kazer, and he finally let out a roar, and then, as Kazer was distracted, Samson was able to, um, overpower, um, Kazer, and then... <laughs> Yeah, then Ryan just, like, told Samson that he's happy to have him for a dad. Yeah, and then, yeah, but then, yeah, after the wildebeest then, well, the other wildebeest witnessed that, then they sh then just, just uh, turned their backs on Kazer and sided with um, Samson and Ryan. And then, yeah, and then as uh, Kazer was actually charging towards Samson, Samson finally ga gained courage to actually roar or powerful enough to actually push him back, yeah. And then, yeah, then, as the volcano then was then starting to erupt, then, like, uh, Nigel, well, not Nigel, well, yeah, Nigel, but, yeah, Samson, Ryan, uh, their friends, and all the other wildebeest were able to, um, um, escape from the volcano before it erupted, and Kazer ended up, like, being, um, crushed by a falling rock in the volcano, yeah, and then it showed then, like, uh, Samson, Ryan, and, and all the others then just, yeah, able to, um, get onto their boat and and escape from the the wild and then yeah then yeah then it showed then just the boat like starting to travel back to new york and as it was going on like it just showed like everybody 
on board, just like dancing and stuff. And then, yeah. And yeah. And that's how it ended. Yeah. So, so yeah. So like I've said, like, like the film really isn't like particularly bad, but it just is very inconsistent because some parts are annoying while at other times it, it does actually get funny because there is, there are like good jokes scattered around the film, but yeah, not every joke works and it does tend to get annoying at times. So yeah. So like I said, I really don't know whether I would actually recommend this movie, but because yeah, there are like a lot of things, things going against it, and yeah, and plus yeah, as I've just been saying, just a lot of people will probably just look at it as a rip off of Madagascar and really just not have any interest in seeing it. Yeah, and yeah, like I said, the film really is not a must see, but yeah, if you are curious enough to see it, like if you can really just put up with like a lot of annoyances, is to get to like some funny jokes, then yeah, you will get some enjoyment out of it. So. Yeah, it really comes down to, like, whether or not uh, you can actually, like, put up with, like, the annoyance of this film. You know, whether you'll get some enjoyment out of it or not. So, it's not a must-see, but if you're curious, go ahead and give it a watch. Alright, so, like I said, I give it a 2.25 stars out of 4. So, yeah, so, yeah, all I can really say is just, yeah, I mean, I mean if, you, if you're not into this kind of stuff, then you probably won't be very interested because, yeah, it will probably be, like, too annoying for some people. But if you can put up with the annoyances to get to a good joke, then, yeah, there is some enjoyment to be had with it. All right. So, yeah. So, I guess that's all I really have to say about it. All right. So, this is it from my review of The Wild. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this review. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.